the other day when I was out climbing, I got into a uh, tree and into a situation where I wanted to go up another pitch, but I didn't have a clean route. I couldn't get a, a limb isolated either for DRT or SRT. And the rope on top of that would be weaving through some limbs um, so that it'd make it difficult to climb. Or if you did a DDRT that way, the additional friction of the limbs against the rope would uh, really make it arduous to climb on. So uh, I ran out of time and uh, came back down and thought about it. And this is a method I came up with to get around that kind of problem. Now this is not the tree. This tree is a lot cleaner and uh, the reason I'm using it is you can pretty much see what's going on. Uh, where I am right now, I've climbed up the tree to a point I need to advance my rope. And uh, I'm just going to pretend that I can't isolate on that limb. I can isolate on it, but uh, for the sake of uh, illustrating this, we're going to say we can't. So I've got the rope just over that limb, and I've tied a knot right here in the rope. That knot is to tell me when I have sufficient rope to do this tie. All right, here's my knot, so I know I now have enough rope to do this. I'm going to tie a bowline right here, but I'm going to tie it around a limb that's going to become my anchor for the next step up. And uh, I'm going to finish this off uh, with a Yosemite finish. And that kind of look like this. But basically what I've got here is this bowling with a loop around it. Or, sorry, a loop around that limb. So when I pull up on it, I've got that. And it looks to me like I probably tied it a little bit short, so I'm going to pull it back down and adjust it. You kind of have to be careful with this because you'll wind up tying a bowline in kind of a, a funny perspective. And uh, you need to check your limb. I'm on a very substantial limb because this rope could work its way out this way because the limb sloped upward. There's going to be some pull on it. Now, idea here is I climb up this rope. And when I get up there, I attach myself some other way to the tree. I can release that knot. And I've gained my rope. So this is not something you'd, you'd use routinely. But if you got in a situation where you just could not isolate on a limb, you might be able to use this to uh, get a clean advance on an SRT. So I'm going to go on up on that. And to do that, I've got to switch some things over. Okay, I've reached the tie-in point. You can see my knot here, it's convenient. Uh, I've already loosened or slacked my uh, upper ascender in the Texas system. My weight is on the um, lanyard. If you trust a single tie-in point, a lanyard say like this, you're good to go. I also have a, a Grigory installed right here over another limb. In fact, that's gonna be my next pitch up. So. I kind of got a, a backup, so I'm ready to take this off, and uh, I really don't need it because I'm going to be using the Grigri from here I'll on. Take this loose. A uh, very simple matter since it's a bowl and it comes loose very easily. This was a Yosemite finish. It 
and there's the other end of my rope free and if I wanted to keep it I'd tie it to me and keep going I'm just gonna go down from here